Hi everyone. So the question here is how are the circled notes functioning? There's a few steps in this process, but what we basically want to do is lump as many notes as we can into chord, chord tones, and then we're going to have some non-chord tones left over. And so it looks like the chord is changing on every beat. And so let's figure out what the notes are. In the first beat, the bass note is an A, right above that is a D. The next note is an F, the circled note is an E, and then the last note is another D, so I won't rewrite that. We've got four different notes here. What do we do? Well, we try to group them into a chord as best we can. The best way to do that is to um, label it as a D minor chord, D, F, and A. That takes care of three of the four notes. The one that's left over, the E, this is the one that's circled. So this E, this circled note, is functioning as a passing tone, PT because it's moving from the F a chord tone, dropping a step, and then dropping another step to another chord tone. In the second beat, a similar thing is happening. The notes in the bass, it's a G, right above it is a C, then an E, the circle note is a D, and then the last note is another C. We wanna label as many notes as we can into a chord, and so we can do a C major chord, which are the notes C, E, and G, and we've got the D left over, this circled note is the D, it's another passing tone. We're on a chord tone E, we pass through PT, and then we land on another chord tone C at the end. So both of these circled notes are functioning as passing tones.